So I'm inspired to shoot this video. My attorney did a video talking about the five type of men or people that you shouldn't date. And it actually goes both ways for male and female. But let me tell you how the five type of men, ladies and gentlemen, don't date this type of woman. Number one, if she has bad credit or if he has bad credit, run. Whether you want to accept it or not, a person that does not have good credit shows that they are irresponsible. They gave that guarantor to that loan, to that bank, to that creditor that they were going to pay the bill, and they didn't. He had people fall on hard times, but if somebody has a 400 credit score or a 500 credit score, especially when you become an adult, we don't have time for irresponsible adults, and we ain't dating them kind. Number two, a person that does not prioritize their health. If you're dating someone and they just eat whatever they want, drink whatever they want, you know, rice, carbs, drinking Hennessy, Casamigos, sleeping all day, have no health routines, don't do no type of exercising, no type of cardio, no type of working out, no type of weights, that person has bad health, guess what? Are you going to be willing to take care of that person when they get old? Mm, think about that. Real estate. After a certain age, you should not date someone who lives with their mom, who lives with a family member, who cannot cover mortgage or doesn't pay rent, still trying to figure out how they're going to cover the bills. They don't know how they're going to make enough money to pay their rent or their mortgage, and they are a grown adult. If a person does not have a stable home, they don't have any real estate, be very careful. That is not the type of person that you want to date. And again, this goes for male and female. The fourth person, type of person that you don't want to date, is someone that has no investments. If you're in a relationship and you're a grown adult and your person does not make investments in themselves, mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, and they don't have no way to make money through their investments, that's a very dangerous person to date. So when you are doing your evaluation, make sure that the person you date believes in investing in themselves and they believe in making investments. Because if they don't believe in investing in themselves, they probably won't want to invest much in you. And then the fifth person that you don't want to date. You don't want to date a person that has no sisterhood, no support. Every time they need help, they can't find no help. They ain't got nobody. They want to do nothing for them. That's a little scary. You a grown adult and nobody want to do nothing for you. You need help. Your, your tire flat. You can't find nobody that want to help you out of love. You, 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 you may be short on a couple of dollars for something or you can't get to the money. You need somebody to send you a cash out and you got to call me. You can't call nobody in this whole world. You need a Zelle from me? Mm, I don't know. That means you probably are a little selfish. And if you've been selfish with your loved ones over a period of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you're probably going to be that way with me. So those are the five type of people that you probably want to stay away from, especially if you are an adult. Remember, in this season, we are adulting. So they credit bad, health bad, no real estate, no home, no mortgage, mm, no house, hard trying to find rent money, no investments, won't invest in themselves, no support, no sisterhood, no family. Ooh.